Alrighty, we have this simple So really I'm just going between the A string uh -huh. and the these two. Okay. You're using your finger, you're your yeah, so I'm, but I'm doing this, right? I'm yeah. using these two fingers for the middle two strings, yeah, okay. the pick for the A string, so it okay. looks like this. What I like about that is I have a finger for each string and a pick for the, yeah. you know. But I can also get a little mute going. Like if I do this, yeah. everything rings. But yeah. if I keep my hand here, yeah. okay, then I'm bringing the F in with my thumb on the low E first fret. Then I'm putting a G, but I gotta switch fingers here. So that bass note moves, yep. and the top chords do not. Good. Then the chords... Move up here, and the A string just rings out. Okay. Drones. There's a little A minor. This is F. G. F. And underneath, the A stays. change of voicing, change of position, yeah. but it's the same old chords, really. Yeah. Uh, and the, the good thing is that the pentatonic scale works. Now, I want you to at least get that E string to high E okay. connection, right? So I got the open E because we only have five notes. Good. The pentatonic scale, A minor pentatonic scale, has A, C, D, E, G those five notes, and I'm playing from E to that E, okay? okay? So really playing E, G, A, then I got C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E. It's the same notes over and over again. Got it. And that connection, I've seen you play it perfectly, except for here. Try to make sure you get that one, three, two, four, because this jazz is kind of a not such a convenient way to do this. Have to shift, try going. Yeah. And then I'm adding the E flat wherever I can get it, okay. which is that flat five. So I have it. Uh, There, and I'll do position by position. So here's the top okay. number three. There it is, E flat. Next down in number two. I'm still playing the same note with a different finger, so now I'm going. And then, there it is again. So it's E flat here with the middle finger, E flat here with the pinky, and then E flat here, an octave lower with that finger. Same note, grab with the pinky. Yeah. There it is, an octave lower again, the middle finger, grab it with the pinky. So I wanna to try to see it and grab it wherever I happen to go, okay. and whatever finger happens to be the most. And I 
have a little line that I sometimes play, which is like... It's the same thing over and over again. And then I also said... A lot of that double stop... So the track, yeah. Then the same thing up here. the whole line. That's not a legit guitar solo, because okay. I just played every note everywhere. Every, <laughs> yeah. so, but but that's to show you that I I wanted she can I went even a little higher, right? I went three and then four. So the point is just own. You only got those five notes plus the one. Own it and find it everywhere. Even the chord thing I I played. Look. Okay. I could have went. There's A minor, uh, right? Okay. Yep, yep. Check out F. You know? And then it's a G right here. You know, it's all those same little shapes moved around. 